Okay, guys, we are set up here to do our ramp lap, and here's our basic setup. We have three books on the physics thing with our ramp. We have a range finder set up, so the actual sensor is sitting above the lip, so you may have to actually kind of hoist it up above that lip, and we have the sensor pointing down range of our ramp. Um, I have books to stop my cart. In a group, you'll have a person down here who will grab the cart when it comes off the ramp. Here's our carts, and we obviously have the range finder hooked up to our lab quest through the top port. Right now it's measuring the range downfield. And when we get rolling here, we want to be able to start collecting data. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch this view from the screen to my graphical one. What that does for me is it gives me a position graph here, it gives me a velocity graph here, and it's gonna record red in position, blue in velocity over time. Now, there is a play button over here that's in green. Um, I would choose not to use that. Instead, I would use the play button over here. The reason why this is a physical button that you can feel the click, it's actually a start and stop button. So you click it once to start, once to stop. And it's much more accurate than trying to tap at this little guy over here, okay? So we'll set this up so you kind of see it happen as we kind of go here. So here's our setup. I'm gonna put my cart on a predetermined spot on the ramp. I have a piece of tape marked here. I can now measure from to get a displacement and we're going to put the cart here and what I'm going to do is hit the start button hold for a moment maybe half a second and then release it that way I get a flat line first and the second the rear of the cart comes off the ramp I'm going to hit the stop button or basically hit the play button a second time so here we go I'm gonna hit play and stop okay so we have some good data to look at. And if we take a look at our data now, here is our data that we can see. And it looks like we got some pretty good data. We have a little bit of a flat line to start down here, which is good. Uh, we see there's no velocity or a position up here. Is our position here, we have no velocity to start. Here's our position a little bit of ways away. So here's the data I can pull from our lab quest now. Uh, first thing I can do, if I want to know the maximum velocity, so how fast did it leave the ramp, or what is the absolute fastest this thing went, I can click on my X and Y here, and I can scroll through my data table, and notice that my velocity maximum was 0.971. This little one, or 0.996 is actually my fastest down here. So that's my maximum velocity down here. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. Right there. So that's one way you can do that scrolling through your data. We go back to the graph, I can also pull some other data. So let's say I wanna know the slope of this blue line. So I want the slope of the velocity line for some reason. I can click anywhere on the graph, slide it over to where I think I have a nice even slope that whole way through. I'm gonna probably stop here, that's my best nice smooth slope. And then I'm gonna go into Analyze, Curve Fit, and I want the curve of the velocity graph. So I'm going to click on velocity. And it says, hey, do you want that guy right there? I'm saying from this little bracket to that bracket. I'm like, yeah, I love that. Choose fit. I want linear. And here is my data. So my M, my B, my correlation, which is awesome. So here I can get the slope of my line. That might be useful for information for me also. Okay. Another thing I can do is if I want to know how long it took to do this whole thing, I know that as soon as it started to move right here, is where my time started. This is where I was holding it still. So I can click and drag on the screen, and go all the way to the end, that's when the rear of the cart came off. And over here in this little corner, it says it's 1.45 seconds. So that gives me the duration of this also. Now we'll notice we have a little bit of a hiccup here, but that's probably because that front wheel came off the ramp first, and that little bit of a bang caused a slight discrepancy in our velocity there. So I wouldn't worry too much about that, but besides that, that's my data. So I can find duration by clicking and dragging. I can find maximums and minimums by using my data table, and I can find slopes by using the analyze curve fit option of these things. Now obviously this is not a linear slope up here, so we're gonna have to, if we wanna do a slope of a line, you wanna use the bottom one here. Okay guys, that should give you all the information you need to do the lab and help you analyze this. 
can answer your questions. And if you're having trouble getting a good graph like this, uh, call me over and I will kind of help you with your timing. Thank you.